Hi everyone. In this video I want to give you a quick tour of our brand new accessible app, YouTube Kids. To add the grid set, you'll need to first of all update your copy of Grid 3 to the latest version. Just look out for the update notification in the menu bar. Click on that and click install. And once you've done that, you'll be able to go to menu, add grid sets, and then accessible apps. And then scroll down to YouTube Kids, click next and click add. So now we'll launch the grid set. The first time you open it, you'll be taken through some setup information. And that's what I'm going to take you through in the video now. So now I can click on start and we'll need to set up the parental controls first of all on this first run. So first of all, select I'm a parent. And you'll just need to verify your age. Then you can click show text rather than watch the video and then next it's not possible to log into an account via the grid set so just choose skip but don't worry you'll still get the chance to adjust the parental controls and you'll need to read through the terms and conditions and agree to them and then you'll just need to choose the age group of the child that will be generally using the grid set that will adapt adapt the available content to the age of your child. You'll need to have search turned on for the grid set to work properly. Well, don't worry though, you can limit your child's ability to search from grid 3 instead and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But for now we're going to just choose turn search on and then we'll click done to finish now if you want to come back to these parental control settings at any point in the future when you're within the youtube web page just scroll to the bottom and that padlock will be there and you can click on that to get back into the parental control settings so once you've been through that first run through you do need to close the grid and reopen it again before it will work. So we go to Grid Explorer, just confirm that there, and then reopen the grid set, like so. So the home grid will show you a selection of kid-friendly recommended videos from YouTube. And the more videos you watch, the more personalised these recommendations will become. On the left we have the videos displayed in thumbnails, with the currently selected one highlighted in red. And I can navigate around with the arrow cells. And if I want to, I can have grid read aloud the description with the read aloud cell here. But let's say that there's nothing here in recommendations that I want to watch today. I can go to browse instead and this is a list of saved searches which are stored in a word list so I could click on jokes for example and the grid set will do a search for me based on that but I can also personalize this search grid so if I go back to browse and just as a reminder after you've watched this video there's a little tip at the bottom reminding you how to do this bit uh, you would need to click on menu and then go to edit word list and this is our list of search terms currently I'm going to click add and I'm going to add crazy frog to my list you can also remove items from this list and you can change the order in which they appear just by clicking and dragging words up and down the list like so. When you're done just click OK and you'll see the changes are reflected here on the grid now. 
You can also search by using the keyboard to type. This is the same keyboard as you'll find in Supercore 30 and it's supported by phonic sound. So I could search for Minecraft perhaps. However, if you wanted to restrict searches just to what is contained in this list, then what you could do is hide this cell which jumps to the keyboard. And you do that by going into edit mode, so it's menu and edit grid, and click on the keyboard cell, and then under cell accessibility, choose hidden. And that cell won't appear now within the grid, but you could always reinstate it later on by making it fully accessible again. And then finish editing and save your changes. And now we can just search for the, the terms that are in this list. So I'm going to choose the Crazy Frog video. And I will choose play. And on this grid, we just have simple play and pause and volume controls. So we can watch our video and then jump back to where we were before. In this case, it's back to the search results. And when we finish watching, we can exit via this cell here to go to Grid Explorer. So, thanks for joining me for this tour of the new accessible app and happy viewing.